Hey guys, what's going on? So I've got a chopper behind me. It went to the bike shop the other day in the last video and they were left doing the brakes and it's all collected now. The brakes are working great. It's got a chain on it. I actually managed to cycle it a little bit down the street the other day. But the big ape hanger bars have just got too much leverage and they're moving back and forwards, which isn't ideal. I've really got to make sure these bars are quite solid. So I bought a tap and die set. I've never used one. Um, the idea is I'm just going to drill straight through the stem and handle bars and try and put like an M6 or M8 bolt all the way through today. Starting at the front end, the brakes are actually all wired up and working. We've got the back and the front all sorted. I need to put a hand grip on here, but it's about right anyway, the length of it. And it runs all the way through the top tube. The e-bike controls go through here. I'm going to put a rubber grommet on here, don't worry. That's going to have a rubber grommet. Rubber. Can't even talk. That's going to have a rubber grommet in it soon. Comes all the way in there, there. exits out. This one goes straight to the caliper. And this one's going to go to the controller, which I may put in this area. I'm not sure yet. I've just ordered a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery, which should give me absolutely loads of range. I should imagine I should be able to get like at least 30 miles range on this bike when it's done. So that, that'd, be, that'd be decent, you know. But anyway, let me take you in and show you what I'm doing with the handlebars because there's still a good few jobs to do on this. At the moment, I've got these little red dots in the center where I've center punched it and it's gone through to the old paint. So at the moment, I've got, I've center punched a hole here and a hole here just to get the uh, pilot hole going. I plan to drill down as straight as I can with a small drill bit all the way through the bars and into the bottom part of this clamp. Then come in with a bigger drill bit corresponding to whatever tap I've got in the kit. I need to look it up yet what size to use. Yes, basically pilot center punch, pilot hole all the way through, go in with a bigger drill and then go in with a tap. But I just figure that if I go the whole way through the hole of this, it's going to make it even stronger having a bolt the whole way through. Anyway, I'm going to drill the pilot hole now. I'm going to put the camera down because I need to do this as straight as possible. And I've got a bit of an audience. Right, I'm going in with this pretty small drill bit. I'm going in with this drill bit. It's pretty small, just as a pilot hole. All right, so this is where we're at then. I don't know if you can see that. But it seems to have some kind of thread going on. So that's good. I'm just working this tap back out this second hole. And then I'm going to try and find some bolts at the right length and see see what difference that makes to keeping the bars steady. Right, update. I've given the bars a try. It's not very pretty. The paint's chipped off. But the main thing is I can take these off any time and just get them sanded and painted. It's only the top top cap section that's mess, a bit messy. Um, yeah, the bars are not moving. I'm not going to put tons of weight on them, but it seems all good. The other thing that I've been working on is getting this little black adapter for the trailer hitch onto the rear dropout, which I've now done. The diameter of the hole of this black piece was too small. Um, didn't have a drill quite big enough, so I had to just like spin it round at an angle. Bit of a uh, ghetto job. But the trailer is actually hitched up for the first time. I've actually let the air out of the tyres because it wasn't seated on the rim, but for all tense purposes of testing it out, I've got no weight inside it. I think it might be alright to just test this out down the road. I'm really curious to see what it's like pedalling this, pedalling this bike with that on the back. That's the first time I've seen the trader on it as well. Right, that's it. I've just taken this for a little blast up the road. The bars are, uh, bars are not moving now. They're solid. Trader's pretty good. I need to pump the tyres up on it, but um, 
with no weight in the back it rolls along just fine it's pretty good no issues at all with that I think that will do for today I really can't be bothered to do any more it's been lightly spitting all afternoon I've got all the electrics out and uh, I'm just hungry and I can't be asked to do any more today so I think I'm going to call it a day I have a little update on my um, to-do list all right let's have a little look extend brake hoses that was done the other day the brakes are all working now strengthen bar stem it's kind of a bodge but if it works it works right fix broken electrics still to do that i'm waiting on a 20 amp hour battery to come and replacement controller from china so that will have to wait chain is all done cable routing's done i need to do the tool calm trailer hitch that's done so, oh, and a hand grip, which is not even worth putting on the list to be fair. So I've got to sort the electrics, which I'm waiting on the battery, and I'll probably get a, um, do you know what? I was going to have a pannier bag, which I bought for the back of this to go over on, on the back here. But I think, I don't normally like a battery on the frame triangle, but I think this frame triangle is so big that a battery there isn't going to look bad. So I'm probably going to get a, um, Oh, what's it called? It probably going to get a riv nut gun and put a couple of riv nuts in here and have the battery on that part of the frame. Probably don't mark my word on it, but that's what I think I'm going to do. And then maybe have the controller in this section here. I'd rather not have a pannier bag, it's not really my style. So if 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 I have to, I have to. But yeah, I've ordered a 20 amp hour battery so I can have absolutely tons of, of range on this. I mean, I'm guessing this thing will probably do like 30 miles or something on one charge, which will be sick. With the bike stand, someone suggested in the comments a um, scooter scooter stand because they're short and stumpy. That might be a good solution for this. I'm still trying to think of some kind of stand because I don't really want to lean it against things and get scratched. It's really not ideal. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed this little update. The brakes are working absolutely amazing. It's, it's getting closer and closer now for this bike working. It's just so annoying that the electrics have taken, uh, you know, have gone on the back burner, so to speak. It's, it's a little bit frustrating because I can test ride it now, but only under pedal power. So I'm going to really appreciate it once the uh, parts arrive, the battery and controller. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that video and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in another video soon.